Did you know that early heart attack symptoms can be observed up to a month beforehand? And according to the UK National Health Service, your chances for survival increases to 9 in 10 people if you get early hospital treatment. So today, we're going to explore 9 heart attack signs you need to be aware of. One symptom in particular often goes unnoticed, but is experienced by up to 50% of people in the 4 weeks leading up to a heart attack. This symptom may seem insignificant at first, but its prevalence among heart attack victims suggests otherwise. Sadly, one of the most commonly ignored symptoms is actually the body signaling it's experiencing the most scary type of heart attack of all, the dreaded Widowmaker. So pay attention, because watching this short video may just save your life or the life of someone you love. Remember to click the thumbs up and subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. First up, chest pain is the most common early sign of a heart attack. Although not everybody experiences chest pain, a 2023 study found that 68% of people noticed chest discomfort in the month leading up to their heart attack. Chest pain can manifest in several ways. Some people describe it as a pressure, almost as if something heavy is sitting on their chest. Others experience a squeezing sensation, kind of like a tight band around their chest. And then there are those who experience it as a piercing pain that's hard to ignore. For some, it comes and goes momentarily. For others, it might linger, lasting for several minutes at a stretch. This inconsistency can make it easy to brush off as something less serious. But it's exactly these kind of signs that we need to be vigilant about. So why does this happen? Well, it's all about blood flow or the lack thereof, to the heart muscle. When the heart isn't getting enough oxygen-rich blood, pain receptors in the heart are activated. Now, these pain sensations aren't always felt in the chest. They can also appear in other parts of the body, known as referred pain. We'll get to that in symptom number 4. But for now, if you experience any of these chest pain symptoms, it's crucial to take action because this is your body's way of waving a red flag saying, hey, something's not right here. Don't just sit on it and hope it will go away. Reach out to a healthcare professional to get it checked out. And remember, prevention is always better than a cure. Maintaining a balanced diet, regular exercise, and keeping stress levels in check can make a world of difference. Next. Unusual anxiety is a less known sign of a heart attack. We're not talking about day-to-day -day stress or worry here. Anxiety in this context can feel overwhelming, often without a clear cause, manifesting as a sense of impeding doom or extreme fear that seems out of character. This psychological symptom might seem unrelated to heart health at first glance, but there's a physiological link. Leading up to a heart attack, this heightened state of anxiety is the body's intuitive reaction to an underlying problem. If your heart isn't functioning properly, the body can prepare for fight or flight mode, increasing hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. Moreover, anxiety can exacerbate other heart attack risk factors, such as arterial inflammation. It's a vicious cycle. Anxiety can lead to increased heart strain which in turn can cause more anxiety, creating a feedback loop that escalates the risk. Techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and yoga can help manage anxiety levels and reduce the strain on your heart. Sharing your concerns with friends, family, or support groups can provide emotional support and reduce feelings of isolation that anxiety often brings. It can also be a good time to discuss any other strange symptoms you've been experiencing. At number 7, unusual fatigue can be another sign heart problems are lurking beneath the surface. Your heart is your body's engine, pumping oxygen-rich blood throughout your body, helping your muscles to create energy. If it's struggling, it makes sense that your energy levels might take a hit, right? When your heart can't pump blood as efficiently as it should, 
your body doesn't get the oxygen and nutrients it needs to function at its best. This can leave you feeling drained, even if you're not running marathons or climbing mountains. So listen to your body. If you're feeling unusually tired for no apparent reason, it's worth paying attention to. Don't brush it off. And of course, eating well, staying hydrated, and regular physical activity not only helps your heart, they'll also provide an energy boost. Shortness of breath, or dyspnea, is a significant indicator that should never be ignored. A 2023 study from Denmark found that 20% of people who experienced cardiac arrest had contacted emergency services in the week beforehand. Trouble breathing was the most common complaint. Here we're talking about being unable to take a deep breath, tightness in the chest, or gasping for air, even during rest or within minimal exertion. Now, cardiac arrest is slightly different to heart attack. A heart attack happens when blood flow to the heart is blocked, often by a clot, causing part of the heart muscle to be damaged or die. Cardiac arrest, on the other hand, is an electrical problem, where the heart's function abruptly stops. Both conditions can come with shortness of breath as a symptom, but the causes and immediate treatments differ. The heart and lungs work in tandem to ensure your body receives the oxygenated blood it needs, if the heart cannot pump efficiently due to conditions like heart failure or a blockage, it can cause fluid to back up into the lungs, leading to breathing difficulties. If you experience unexplained shortness of breath, especially if accompanied by other symptoms like chest discomfort or unusual fatigue, it's essential to seek medical attention immediately. Next. Nausea or vomiting are often overlooked signs of a heart attack. It can be mistaken for a stomach bug, but can also be a sign of heart trouble. When the heart is under stress, it can trigger the autonomic nervous system, which controls involuntary functions, including digestion. This can lead to an upset stomach, resulting in nausea. Kevin Smith, the comedian and filmmaker known for movies like Clerks and Dogma, learned about this symptom the hard way. After performing a stand-up comedy show, Smith began feeling nauseous and vomited. He thought it must have been due to the milk he had drank, and ignored it. However, his symptoms continued to get worse until he collapsed and was taken to hospital. There he found out he had suffered a Widowmaker heart attack named for its high mortality rate. This type of heart attack involves a blockage of the left anterior descending artery, which supplies blood to the heart. Fortunately, he survived and took the experience as a wake-up call. He changed his diet, started exercising, and went on to lose significant weight in order to reduce his future risk. Furthermore, he became an advocate for heart health awareness and used the movies Clerks 3 to highlight the importance of taking care of your health while you have a chance. Remember, not all symptoms are obvious, so pay attention to your body and note if nausea or vomiting is accompanied by other subtle symptoms. At number 4, pain in the jaw, back or arm can often precede a heart attack. This type of pain is called referred pain meaning it occurs away from the actual source of the problem. This occurs because the heart shares nerve pathways with other parts of the body, such as the jaw, back, and arms. When your heart is under stress or suffering from reduced blood flow, these nerve pathways can transmit pain signals to other areas. Arm pain is frequently reported in the left arm, though it can occur on either side. The characteristics of this pain can vary, it might feel like a dull ache, a sharp pain, or even a tingling sensation, and it may come and go, or persist over time. Likewise, pain similar to indigestion can show up. This usually occurs in the upper abdomen, and can feel like an uncomfortable fullness, severe heartburn, or a gnawing pain. Some people might also experience a feeling of bloating or gas, just like your other limbs, the heart and the stomach are located close to each other 
and share some of the same nerve pathways. When the heart is not getting enough oxygen, this distress can be felt in the stomach area, causing symptoms that mimic indigestion. At number 2, sleep problems aren't the first heart attack warning that comes to mind, but they're more significant than you might expect. One study found that 50% of women experienced sleep disturbances in the four weeks before their heart attack. Poor sleep can be both a symptom and a contributing factor to heart attack. When your heart is struggling, it can affect your sleep. It might be because of symptoms that we've already touched on, like pain or shortness of breath, which can make it hard to get a good night's rest. On the other hand, poor sleep can itself increase the risk of heart attack or stroke. For one, it can increase your blood pressure. Think of your blood vessels as pipes and your heart as a pump. Higher pressure means your heart has to work harder to pump blood through your body, which can strain it. Deep non-rapid eye movement sleep is particularly important for cardiovascular health. During this stage of sleep, your body undergoes significant recovery processes, including tissue repair, muscle growth, and the release of growth hormones. Additionally, poor sleep can increase inflammation in your body, which can damage tissues in the heart. Lastly, not sleeping well can increase stress hormones in your body. These hormones can make your heart beat faster and your blood vessels tighten, increasing the risk for heart attack even further. So, it's important to notice any sleep disturbances, especially in combination with other symptoms we've discussed. And it's equally important to do whatever you can to set the right conditions for good sleep. Start with the basics. Make your bedroom a sanctuary for sleep. Keep it cool, dark, and quiet. Establish a relaxing bedtime routine to help signal your body that it's time to wind down. Avoid screens and heavy meals before bed, as they can disrupt your body's natural sleep rhythms. And try to keep a consistent sleep schedule even on the weekends. At number one, sudden sweating is a clear sign that something's not right. This type of sweating is more than just a response to physical activity or high temperatures. It's often cold, clammy, and occurs suddenly, making you feel as though you're sweating without any exertion. This occurs because during the early stages of a heart attack, your sympathetic nervous system is activated to increase blood flow and prepare the body for rapid action. However, when there's a blockage preventing proper blood flow to the heart, this system goes into overdrive, leading to excessive sweating as the body tries to maintain its normal functions despite the distress. Persistent sweating at nighttime can also be a sign of certain cancers. So if you're experiencing unusual or sudden sweating, Talk to your doctor as soon as possible. And of course, what you eat has an enormous impact on your heart disease risk, in the long term as well as the short term. And there are specific foods that contain special compounds that can actually help your clogged arteries. To learn what these are, make sure to watch our video on 9 delicious foods to clear clogged arteries. We'll leave a link to that in the description box. We hope you found this useful. Click the like and subscribe buttons to see more on these topics.